All right, so um, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm the technical director at Intrad Interactive. So today, I just sort of want to go over some of the baking tools inside of Moto 10 point something, one or I think 10.1, uh, because it can be kind of confusing. There's not really too many, I don't, I don't, there's hardly any tutorials out there, video tutorials on how to do the baking. So I want to do it quickly. Um, I'll demonstrate on a bake, and the new baking things I'm talking about are these bake items here. So if you click on the game tools tab and you come over here, um, you can create a new bake item. So we'll do a uh, new texture bake item. And this will bake us out normal maps. Um, so I've already created one here. So uh, I'll just click properties here. And when you click on it in the shader tree, um, it will open up this little thing here for you. Um, I don't really like jumping back and forth in between these here. So I've added a palette here. Um, so this is sort of just a little bake palette, UVs, and some of the little tools that I use. Um, so you can do that with the little tilde key, um, which is the key above tab and below escape. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bake a little square first, or a little uh, cube. So um, let's do that. So I'll put one out here, and we will just add some uh, things to make it have some sort of semi-hard edges, something that we can bake. All right, so that's, you know, you could sort of tell that this is baked. Here, I'll do this too. All right. So this one we'll call High Bully. And we'll duplicate it. Boop. And we'll call this one low poly. And this guy, what we'll do for him is we'll just take all these loops we added in and get rid of them. Alright, so then now let's add um, some UV maps to it. So these ones are good, but this is not a good... Uh, you need some padding on these edges here. So let's just tear all these off real quick. Alright, so then we've got a UV map. I always like to rename them. Uh, and then we'll add a cage map. So we'll click here and we'll type in cage. Uh, let's bring the high poly back. And so now we can disable or enable the cage by clicking here. Once we have it enabled, then we'll just push it out just a little bit. All right, turn the cage off. And let's add a material. We'll call this low. And to here, we will add a new image. So, um, new image, and we'll add it to our desktop here, uh, called new normal, just RGB, um, good to go, and we'll change it to normal, and yes to all, okay. So now we have our material, our texture to bake to, our high poly and our low poly, and our low poly has a cage on it, right? So now, um, let's act like we didn't have this bake item here. Let's come over to the game tools panel, baking, and uh, let's just click new texture bake item. So that gives us, uh, if you go into, I'll show my, my, my little palette here. 
Um, so if you go into the shader tree section here under bake items, you'll find texture baking. And then the properties will be over here for you. Um, you can change it here. So we'll just do normal map bake. And for our target meshes, we can either, uh, while we're in item mode, we can either select the high poly and the, the target is what you want to bake to. So the, the low poly. And the source is the high poly, so what you want to bake from. So that, that that's kind of confusing. But so target, bake to, source, bake from. Okay. Um, so then we can select our high poly mesh, and we can say that this is our source mesh. So we have high poly. Or alternatively, we can come here and you can select low poly. Um, the other way that you can do it is you can come in here and you can create a group. So you can group together all your low poly items and all your high poly items, or you can actually just create a group like this. Um, so low poly. Um, and then in your normal map bake here, uh, texture bake item, um, you could also just add the whole group. All right, and then that, that would bake everything in the group or everything in this folder. Uh, so texture outputs, new normal, select that. Bake from source, because obviously we want to take the source mesh and bake from that. Otherwise, it would just I think it would just bake from everything in the scene. Uh, and then we select the cage. The cage is for the low poly mesh, so we remember we name it cage. And I just tick these on. I don't know why, I just do it. Uh, that's my default that I make. Uh, okay, so now we have all of this set up. So now we can just hit bake selected. And sit back and watch it bake for a second. Oh, we forgot to do something. So hit escape. So with um, games, with uh, so let's come back in here to our low poly. Select our low poly, uh, and with uh, the vertex normal toolkit, it's in in Moto now by default, but it used to not be. Oops. So we'll come in here and select edges, and soften all of our edges, and then you can select your UV map here and hit this little button and that will harden the, the edge boundaries of the currently selected UV map. So that's what you always want to do. You always want to soften all your edges and then just click this button and harden your UV borders because that will always get you the best bake in my opinion. So anything that's 90 degree angles, I split a UV. So you see this here. So it's on its own UV island. All these are 90 degree angles. So they all have their own UV islands and they all have UV splits based on the borders of the UV islands. So now let's um, jump back into our bake item here and hit bake selected. And we will just watch this bake for just a few seconds until it's done baking. And then it will dilate the edges and we'll be good. So now if we jump back down here to our low poly, we'll turn our low poly. This is the baked mesh. And this is the high poly mesh. So just the silhouette is different. I could have done that you know, a little better, but there's no seams. Uh, so there you go. And then once you were done with that, then you come in here and you would click save. Or you could just save the whole scene and it would ask you if you want to save it and then, then it'll save that normal map for you and you're good to go.